camping. It's fair to say it's a way better experience than it ever used to be. In no small part, because of Jetboil, I'm here with Maury Troutman. We're going to talk about some of the greatest, latest technology that is going to make your camping experience even better. How are you, man? Great, great. Good to meet you, Terry. Nice to meet yeah. you, too. Tell us about Jetboil and all the awesome features. Well, Jetboil's a fairly young company. We started uh, about eight years ago and uh, kind of revolutionized the outdoor cooking uh, techniques with with development of a cooking system not just in the traditional way of putting together a stove and a burner and a pot and a pan and a windscreen and, a, and, a, and an igniter of some kind and trying to piece that all together what we did was develop a system that was integral to itself fantastic it's not 1989 anymore no, no, at the campsite near, this isn't your father's cook, say a cooking stove <laughs> so talk a little bit about the features of these two i know you have two distinct models talk about the features for each and where you need to be depending on where you're camping. Sure. Well, let me talk a little bit about a cooking system first and just give you the basic tendency of, of uh, premise of our design form. And that is uh, a, a cooking system that's integral and stable and all by itself. So we don't need to supply a windscreen and a pot and a, and a burner and all that kind of stuff. Ours comes as a unit. So what you see here is a complete cooking stove system and cooking uh, vessel system. So. The, the vessel, the stove, the burner, everything, the fuel source is all in one, one unit. You can actually hold this unit as it ignites and burns. So I'm going to put this down for a minute and kind of show you how the system works. This is the key to our cooking system. It's called a flux ring. If you took this little piece of aluminum off here and stretched it out, it would be about three times, it would be about this long. What that does is triple the surface area of the bottom of the vessel. That's what gives us our efficiency. So we are, we are tremendously efficient in terms of getting the heat into the medium, the water basically. The system is designed like a bayonet. It clicks onto the stove, screws it down, and then it becomes a unit. So this is your cooking vessel. This is your eating vessel. You can make your soup in it, boil your coffee, all those kinds of things. Um, eat out of it and make it attach itself to the burner unit. The modularity is on a whole nother level. It is. And, and what we do with this system, too, is, is in terms of modularity, is we make this system work into itself. If I had the right size canister somewhere. Anyway, the fuel canister goes in, the pot stabilizer goes in, everything fits into the unit, and the cup goes on the bottom, like so. And you have a cooking system that's the size of a li one liter water bottle. Absolutely. The thing I love about it as well is that you guys have not skipped the process of elegance in okay. design. It looks cool. It's something that I, I want to have, I want to interact okay. with. It's not just something that's really functional. And it really works. So we it's make, good that it works. Yeah. We make all kinds of accessories to go with it. Um, this is a pot stabilizer. So in the event that you want to fry a fish instead of boil something, this goes on here like so, and this, then you can put a flat surface to, uh, pan on it. Cook anything you want. That also fits inside here. Super sweet. Tell me about the Sumo. The Sumo's looking sweet, man. The Sumo was designed as a group cooking system. A lot of times you need something a little bit more. You got two or three people with you. System works exactly the same way. The bayonets on all of our stoves fit on any of the engines. Nice. So it's totally interchangeable. So this system is designed so that it'll fit inside this system. So you can cook, again, with modularity. You can take a single, you can cook for a group, you can have two vessels cooking at the same time. Fantastic. Little difference in the engines. This is our, our standard engine, uh, designed it, we call our Flash and our Zip. Um, works with any standard fuel canister, jet, jet boil fuel we prefer, obviously. <laughs> and all you do is simply screw it on to the can. Boop. Simply. <laughs> Screw it on the can, open up the vent, and ignite it. It's that simple. And then put your pot on and you cook away. Difference between the two engines that we have, if you notice this one, the base plate is made out of titanium instead of stainless steel. It still, nice. has, still has the integrated igniter, but we have a, a little regulator valve over on the side here. And what that does is increase the cold weather performance and thereby the altitude performance. So the stove burns very, very well in cold weather, keeps the pressure constant in the can. One of the, uh, 
one of the uh, drawbacks to most canister fuels is that as Absolutely. you burn down, the efficiency begins to fall. Right. This keeps that efficiency at 100% all the way through 100% of the burn of the fuel. You waste no fuel, you, you lose no efficiency. Plus, if I'm at a lower altitude and I'm cooking a four-course gourmet French meal, I can work my burners at whatever Abs level I absolutely. need. Absolutely. You can saute if you like. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Maury, tell folks where they can learn more about JetBoil online. You can go www.jetboil.com. Nice work, man. Thanks for coming. Nice to talk to you. Have a great show. You bet. Thanks for coming out here, guys.